Now, porous borders in West Africa are potential avenues for the spread of violent extremism and terrorism in the Sahel and some West African countries. This is a growing phenomenon which must be checked before it escalates to disrupt investment opportunities in other peaceful coastal countries like Ghana. This is a session by stakeholders who spoke at the launch of an initiative by the United Nations Development Programme and Japan to prevent violent, violent extremism and small arms proliferation in coastal countries. There's more in this report. The Japan government is therefore supporting this project with an amount of more than $491,000 in partnership with the United Nations Development Program and the Kofi Annan International Peacekeeping Training Center. This is to ensure that ongoing violent activities and terrorism in neighboring countries are prevented from escalating. Resident Representative, UNDP Resident Representative, Dr. Angela Lusigi, believes that this is timely for the sub-region. We're looking at border communities. We're looking at young people who are denied access to education or gainful employment, and now they remain vulnerable to radicalization. So in the absence of an integrated and robust response, we see that there's a pending humanitarian crisis in the sub-region. And we can also see from the border um, with Burkina Faso that there's already a rise in internally displaced, uh, displaced persons and persons of concerns moving to coastal states to escape the impacts of violent extremism and terrorist activities.